Number 1. Hey Davis, can you explain inflation to me? Inflation is when prices go up and your money is worth less. Yeah, I thought so. I've been hearing a lot about inflation lately. Yes, everyone's talking about it, and I'm really worried about it. I don't know how we're going to keep up. Me too. I heard that we might see inflation as high as 10% this year. Number 2. I just heard, the bank is foreclosing on our house. I know. I can't believe we're going to be homeless. We're not going to be homeless. We'll find a place to stay. I hope so. I don't want to live on the streets. Number 3. I can't believe a global financial crisis is coming. I'm so scared for the future. Me too. I've been hearing that it's going to be really bad. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't afford to lose any money. I know. I'm just trying to stay positive and hope for the best. Number 4. So the government is still bailing out those banks. It's outrageous. They are the ones who caused this mess in the first place. Well, I guess we can't really blame them. They're just trying to prevent an even bigger financial disaster. I guess you're right. But bailing out the rich guys still makes me angry. Number 5. Oh dear. I'm in so much credit card debt. Me too. It's like, every time I use my card, I just keep racking up more and more debt. I just don't know how I'm ever going to get out of this hole. Oh, we'll figure it out. Together. Credit card debt be gone. Number 6. Oh, Christopher, the credit crunch is really happening. I know. I can't afford to buy anything anymore. Me either. I am so broke all the time. At least we're not alone, everyone is struggling right now. Number 7. Hey Nancy, do you think a recession is coming? I'm not sure. I've been hearing a lot of talk about it. But I'm not sure if it's just talk, or if there's actually something to it. I think there's definitely something to it. I've been seeing a lot of signs, that things are slowing down, and I think we're heading for a recession. I hope you're wrong. I don't want to go through another recession. Number 8. As in, have you heard about the economic crash? Yeah, Abel, I've been hearing about it. What do you think about it? I think it's going to be really bad. A lot of people are going to lose their jobs and their homes. Yeah, I've been hearing that too. I think it's going to be a really tough time for a lot of people. Number 9. I was so worried about the financial stimulus. Yes, Olivia. I was worried too. I heard that it would have a lot of negative effects. Some economists say that too much financial stimulus causes inflation. And they also say that it's going to cause a lot of debt. Seems those things are coming true. Number 10. Elizabeth, what do you think austerity means? I think austerity is cutting your spending and living within your budget. I agree. I think it means being mindful of your spending and making sure your finances are in order. Yes, I think that's right. It's about being responsible with your money. Number 11. Anna, what do you think an economic bubble is? I'm not sure, but I think it has something to do with the stock market. Yeah. I think an economic bubble is when prices of stocks are really high, just before the stock market crashes, and people lose a lot of money. Seems right. And I think that's what happened during the Great Depression. Number 12. Nirja, everyone is saying we have a bear market right now. What exactly is a bear market? It's when the stock market is going down. So it's not a good time to invest? No, you might lose your money. Number 13. Financial inequality is terrible these days. I can't believe a CEO made 400 times an average worker's salary last year. I know, inequality is so unfair. 
The top 1% have so much money, while the rest of us struggle to get by. I read that the average worker in America only makes $30,000 a year. That's crazy. No wonder so many people are in debt. Number 14. I can't believe the big bosses gave us such a small piece of the pie. I know, right? It's like they don't even care about us. Well, at least we have a piece of the pie. That's true. I'm just glad we're not left with nothing. This was an ESL Flow production.